Greetings, Healing Vibe crew. Welcome. And you guys, hope everybody's well. This is Misa Mogo, also known as Mama Mystique. Okay, welcome if you are returning, if you're new. How are you doing, y'all? Okay, so I pray everyone's well. We're going to go ahead and get into a reading, you all. I am like been feeling kind of motivated to give this a go again and trying to be more consistent here. So make sure you all are showing the love. If you appreciate the message, if you're getting something from this message, and if not, stick around. You never know. Maybe we'll be able to find something for you. But um, let's get into this message here. It is timeless. So whenever you come across this message, it's for you. All right. Today we have the archangels are interested in giving a message to us. So let's see what messages we have for you today. And all things, make sure that you are doing things in love. I'm seeing and feeling a lot of energy being provided and given to the collective to us all during this period of success and healing liberation wanting us to receive so if you have been feeling a little tense rested restless tired you know all of those things i feel like you are being uh, charged you're being provided some like i'm getting am like ammunition to be able to allow yourself to to get into this next phase level you are being reloaded okay and it's okay like spirit is seeing that the angels are seeing and have been providing that support a lot of us are really tired really drained and you know um may not be i'm getting something with image something with image self-image you know, making sure that you are tending to, you know, just your your health, physical and um, mental, physical health. We have connect to music. OK, so the angels are inspiring you through music. So maybe there is um, a change in music. If you're listening to a lot of energy in the music that are not supportive, that are very sad, that um, control your emotions. Music control your emotions is what this message is giving. So allow yourself to get into more um, music that is more higher vibrational. Uh, Lo-fi music is, is amazing. We love lo-fi music in my house um, and home. But other ways that you could increase your your energy through music is dance so you can listen to it when you sleep you can listen to it when you get yourself ready you know there's white noise when you are doing certain things or certain sounds but also there's different frequencies and if you look up different uh, healing frequencies on youtube or uh, pinterest or google you know learn about uh, frequencies and um, their correspondences see if there's anything that could match you know where you are or where you're trying to go but spirit is really wanting us to connect through sound through music through frequency through energy to allow us to kind of get to 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 get aligned get aligned is to get us out of the slump to get out of that um, I'm getting misery for some even okay so this is going to get you out of that out of that uh, out of that hump, you know, in the song by Erica Badu, um, getting over that hump, and it says things will get better. You know, things will get better. Align your align, align yourself, and allow yourself to align. Okay, that's the message I'm getting here. Uh, this also says honor your feelings. So this is um, Archangel Haniel. Um, this is the Archangel of supporting you towards your emotions and honoring your feelings, letting you know that you we go through things, the murky waters, the muddy waters, our shadow self, um, to be able to get liberated, to be able to heal. So a lot of us are in this period of time where whatever this present moment and present um, 
mindset that we have at this current moment is going to truly determine where we're going, you know, our outcome. So being positive at this moment is critical. Critical mindset, critical energy, um, and positivity, critical energy and positivity is going to make sure that you are in a proper alignment because it's going to determine, my God, you know, where you're going. So that's why your this energy is being given to us to help us be able to get through where we need to get through and allow us to be positive and, you know, strong is giving us strength It's giving us the ability to recognize we're human. We have emotions, but we're supported because, you know, and we're not alone getting through this. So if you feel like you are alone getting through something, you're not. Spirit is listen, move your body came out. OK, and that is the the angels is motivating you to move your body and your energy. So a lot of you could be stagnant because of whatever disapprovement, something that may not have been resolved the way that you want them to be resolved or most possibly feeling not supported or heard. OK, and you have to allow yourself to get the proper um, energy and frequency and sound and vibration and movement to be able to get that stagnant energy released, removed. You know, make sure you're working out, making sure you're exercising, making sure that you're moving your body, you know, to be able to move the energy inside of your body or moving the energy that is surrounding you. What is this divine? Thank you. Spirit wants us to make healthier choices. All right. The angels are guiding us to make healthy uh, choices and to make healthy decisions. And like I mentioned earlier, the card here says signs from heaven is here. And that is the heavens are sending you um, reminders of your presence. Wow, the presence, the present, it's a gift. All right, so I love these. I love the angels for coming through, reminding us to make you know healthier choices for ourselves, to be able to allow ourselves to, when we're feeling in a rut, that you know sometimes rest is okay, right? Sometimes rest is okay, silence is okay, but allow ourselves to to kind of like have those experiences and moments, but allow ourselves to still you know receive some positivity, re receive the support. Support is also necessary and it's important because when you get closed off, you're, how are you truly healing? How are you truly healing being closed off? Because you're hardening and that hardened energy, it creates I feel side effects, what spirit is showing me and making me feel side effects that could create more harm than allowing things to be supported, you know, and experienced and allow it to remove itself or dissipate. <sighs> mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. This here, okay, let's see what um, advice divine. What advice do we have for the collective? What advice for those that are holding on to things? Listen, y'all, I'm trying to tell y'all. I'm shuffling the tarot right now. Okay? And we got the four of pentacles with the tower card here. And then the eight of cups is also here. And what did I tell you about being hardened? The nine of pentacles, uh, the nine of wands is about being able to like being protective of your energy, being protective of your space, you know, because of this situation here. OK, and you have to allow yourself to not get be hardened by this. OK, because you want to be able to allow this to be experienced, allow the cycle to be learned so that way we can grow on. You know, regardless of what other people have gone through, just because that person may have, you know, showed you or that that job or whatever the situation is that makes you feel this heartache or this pain or not allowing you to move on from this situation, you know, don't let it last long and always. OK. All right. Divine. Let's see some advice. All right, if you're still here, please make sure that you are, sh what is this here? You like, okay? You subscribe, comment, let me know what it is that you're letting go of in the comments, okay? 
and I do wish you well on this journey of self-discovery, self-fulfillment, and just honesty, right? Honesty and acknowledgement with yourself. All right, divine. What advice do we have, please, for the collective? Oh, this one wants to come out. Queen of Pentacles is here. And the Queen of Pentacles is about nourishing. It's about nourishment. It's about nurturing. It's about things that are of meaning, right? Of value. And also for survival. You know, you have to be able to have some type of sanity, some type of groundedness, some type of stability in this life. You know, the foundation the earth energy, the material world, it's all, it's all things that are necessary in the physical to be able to, to be healthy, strong, and in my mindset is being able to have what you need, whatever it is for you. You know, whatever it is for you that makes you feel abundant, makes you feel fulfilled, and makes you feel secure whatever that is but that is your sense of security with the queen of um, pentacles so that's why it's important to allow yourself to be fulfilled in all that you do okay and maybe this situation that's making you feel a bit stagnant took away that stability and that security you know and that's possibly why you're in a space now where you are you know in the limbo and you know not really motivated and you know not really um, excited because now you have to get into the nitty to gritty and you have to work harder than you necessarily may have not may have not had to do in the past but it's saying that you're supported and they're they're here your guys and your angels your helpful um, assistance and aids and you know all of it whatever it is like they're here and you got the Hierophant card here as well so they're giving you guidance they're giving you guidance and support you just have to allow yourself to make moves move your body <laughs> that's what it's saying move your body and not allow yourself to be stuck in this position here because they're supporting you. They want you to get into your queen of wands energy, you know, and get out of your head. Get out of your head. Get out. Stop getting in your limitations. OK, you're allowing yourself to be. I'm getting limited. You're limiting yourself. And you have to allow yourself to be shameless in what it is that you're experiencing. You know, maybe talk about it, get some type of friendly advice, some type of coaching, some type of therapy, whatever it is that's going to allow you to face what it is that you need to face to allow yourself to move on. Okay? Let's see if we can get an advice card. Because this was kind of like, not the, you know, happiest of messages, but this is something that is coming out, right? So, let's see what advice we can give. Let's see what advice, please, Divine, what advice? What advice, please? What it is, what's the, <laughs> open up your heart. All right, Divine, what message, please? What advice, let's get some advice. What advice do we have? What's some insights? Some advice and insights, please, for the collective. What's some advice for the collective? Provide some insight, please. What do they most need to know? Someone is still figuring themselves out, right? Okay, someone is still figuring themselves out. It says someone is in the middle of someone. Someone is in the middle. Someone is trying to sabotage this. So someone is trying to sabotage something here or someone was possibly in a third party situation or maybe someone didn't choose them here. Oh, what's this? So I got 
a narcissist. So someone is too full of themselves. So someone was too full of themselves or maybe you are just, you know, having to accept something for what it is. You know, someone was trying to figure themselves out. Sexuality is here. So if they're not trying to figure out their sexuality, maybe that's, you know, where I want to be, where they want to be. <sighs> mm -mm -mm. Spirit is just saying it was just not the right time, okay? It wasn't the right time. Spirit is telling you to travel. You have vacation. So Spirit is telling you that you will need to travel soon. So travel will be good. Road trip, get on the flight, getting somewhere. Spirit says communicate, compromise, forgive, work it out. But most importantly, Spirit is telling you to give. Oops. <laughs> give this situation some time. My car is going to y'all. Let me pick this up. Okay, so give this situation some time. Oh my God, some of you could even be going through a divorce. Someone could be going through a divorce here. Someone could be dealing with somebody younger. We have a gold digger card. They want to use you for your money or just someone who is just, you know, using someone for the wrong reasons here. And maybe you could be the person that the person just didn't choose or just didn't give the energy to. Or maybe you just realized, you know, you may have been dealing with an earth, uh, earth sign or you could be an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And you're just realizing that this isn't working. Like the person isn't giving you what it is that you, or per, you know what I say, giving you what it is that you want or your expectations for having been met. Or maybe, you know, you just had to walk away from a situation. We also have they'll be back. <laughs> Expect to hear from them soon is here, okay? So be strong in this situation. Be strong. You know, Spirit is one is supporting you and really more importantly wants you to give this situation some time. There couldn't have been a divorce or separation here. Maybe you may not be in communication or you know with your person. They could be with someone else involved or there could be another th party in this situation or someone could just be, you know, wanting to do other things, trying to figure out their love life or what they want in love. It's a very complicated situation as it seems. OK, but this definitely seems to be more so of a love relationship here. So let's go ahead and pull a love card. This this is for someone in love. So let me go ahead and just get a final message here for this this relationship I haven't done a love reading or cards haven't came up for love reading in a minute all right divine let's see all right thank you let's go ahead and ring the bell for a little bit clean this up interesting so what you going to do put, you put it in the comments like if you this reading is resonating with you look at this card keep coming up it's the second time so i'm reading it it's telling you to free yourself somebody needs to free themselves from this situation look at the separation card is here <laughs> and release your eggs release your eggs so this could definitely this is definitely someone in love okay you have to let this energy go. This energy is keeping you stagnant. It's keeping you limited. And it's not allowing you to break free from the situation. So if you are not in a relationship. So this could be just a, a limited mind frame. My mind frame. Limited mindset. Okay. And you just have to allow yourself to, <laughs> to move on. To allow yourself to try something different. Something new. Okay. Because whatever it is that you were not. I got this deception card here. You know, whatever this is that you were not allowing yourself to kind of be real, authentic or free. Like you're just like you have to be free. You can't let whatever this deception mask keep you back from like your, you know, li can't limit you. You know, spirit wants you to live more passionately, more free. OK, allow your heart and soul to sing with joy, you know, not to be worried about deception, hurt, pain, you know, all like the fear mongering, not all of that negative energy like you know, where you're paying attention to red flags all the time. You know, I guess you may have been the person that just could have not been authentic. And Spirit just wants you to be authentic, be you, and not allow yourself to be limited and be free. Just know that you're supported. See, everything is kind of going around and around and around and looping, 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 looping. Spirit is saying that a vacation is needed. We also have the retreat. 
And Spirit also wants you to be optimistic about your love life, your career, just your life in general. Don't be afraid to express your love, okay? All right, from that, from that, that's pretty much what I'm getting here. All right, make sure that you are staying in love, staying in your divinity. Do not allow anything or anyone to knock you off your square, okay? Because you are everything. You are everything. You know, don't let situations and, and experiences or moments define your reality, your existence, your truth. You know, just be honest with yourself. Take accountability. You know, learn your lessons and, you know, make sure that you're around people that are supportive of you and uplifting of you. Because so many people have their own limiting beliefs and insecurities and they are just waiting to just pour them on you just so that you can be stuck right along with them. And that's why Spirit is telling you potentially to stay inside of your bubble at this current moment to be refilled, to be um, recharged to get your energy up so that way you don't continue to take or potentially take yourself around um, down or people around you based off of your energy all right so that's the message I have for you all if you're still around thank you make sure you are following and liking subscribing all that good shit put your comments down let me know what you think all right I haven't done a love or a love message has not come out in a while, but just make sure you guys are staying true to you. Period. Point. Boo. <laughs> period. Point. Period. All that stuff y'all say. <laughs> I'll see y'all.